Um, I'm keen to get your thoughts on what you think CNY is going to do tomorrow, given what we hear from the State Council and Co, the NDRC. So I think China and you know, a lot of uh, expectations going to tomorrow's meeting. I do expect them to deliver a pretty substantial fiscal package around 3% uh, of GDP and you know, purely to fix you know, the underlying structural issues that we saw, you know, property, a lack of focus on the consumer and also you know, employment subsidies tackling all. So the package uh, addresses the structural issues and I think long-term investors will feel very heartened about it. Mm -hmm. So on that, you know, I am more bullish on the CNY now. I think you know, uh, with equity allocation by global investors being at you know, the lows, there is some room for yuan appreciation if mm. equity flows return to China. How much room are the policymakers comfortable with? Because even off the back of the uh, PBOC's big press conference a couple of Tuesdays ago, we did see uh, some appreciation in the currency, but in the back end of the week of the unusual Politburo announcement, it seemed like the state banks were stepping in to sort of cap any more upside. So I think that was just before the golden week. That's why I think state banks didn't want to see dollar CNY below seven. So I think that was the intervention by the state banks. But I think looking over, uh, ahead over the next couple of months, you know, dollar, I think they are having a more dovish dollar view. And that's why they're happy to let dollar CNY go lower because they aren't intervening via the fixings that we have saw uh, during the past uh, two weeks ago. Mm. Uh, I also want to get uh, in some of your top currency trades right now, Alex. What are you advocating? So I think we do like the yen, the dollar, I think it's against most of the consensus view over the past two months, purely because you know, we see macro volatility very low and you know, I think the, it was a very crowded short dollar positioning. So we were calling for tactical dollar longs, which should have played out well. Mm -hmm. uh, on the yen story, it is a bit difficult because we didn't <laughs> expect Shiba-san to come out so dovish. Yeah. But I'll be waiting to see you know, uh, after the general elections on the 27th of October, uh, what will his tune will be. I think secretly he's still a monetary hawk. You know, mm. he still wants a stronger yen, basically because locals are facing, you know, very strong cost of living pressures due yeah. to their weak yen. Yeah. So I think we are still expecting dollar yen to trade to about 140 by year end. Yeah. Okay.